Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. In part two of the Agco White 9800 VE High Speed Corn Planter series featuring Challenger 1000 series tractors, we're going to head out to the central sands of Wisconsin to see a 476 engine horsepower Challenger 1000 series tractor with a 24 row, 60 foot wide 9800 VE planter. We'll also spend time in western Kentucky with a 396 horsepower Challenger 1038 tractor and 16 row 9800 VE planter. These planters are capable of seeding corn at 10 miles per hour and in part one of this series we spent time up in the cab of the Challenger 1038 visiting with Nick from Wayne Supply talking about all the technology that goes into operating big machines like the Challenger 1000 series tractors and 9800 VE corn planters. I'll post a link in the description below of this video so you can go back to part one to learn about the tech of this equipment. In this video we're going to spend time out in the field seeing and hearing these machines at work as well as talking about their specifications. So let's head out to the field and see this big equipment at work. Let's take a look at the general specifications for the Agco White 9800 VE corn planters. They're available in 12, 16, and 24 row 30 inch space models. They have a lot of technology that we talked about in part one of this series, looking in detail at Delta Force, SeedSense, V Drive, and V Set. This planter is built on a 7x7 frame. That frame has 21 degrees of flexibility. Here we can see the 16 row 9800 VE coming up over a drainage riser in a western Kentucky field and you can see how the frame just angles at 21 degrees following the contour of the field continuing to seed the corn making sure that all the ground gets covered. These planters are equipped with two 45 bushel central fill tanks for holding everything from corn seed to soybean seeds and a variety of other crops. It carries a total of 90 bushels and also is equipped with a fertilizer system set up for liquid and there is a 500 gallon tank available with the 9800 VE planters. These machines are capable of running comfortably at 8 to 10 miles per hour and with all of the technology such as Delta Force and Seed Sense and the V Drive, they're capable of placing the seed and fertilizer at 99% or better accuracy as it runs across the field. You might be curious about the price of running a high-speed corn planter like this. Let's take a look at the 16-row 9800 VE. 16-row corn planters are the top-selling models across the United States and the most popular option for many farms. A 9800 VE set up like the one that I filmed in Western Kentucky's base price is just around $200,000. When you start adding a lot of the technology and different row unit components, you're taking a look at a machine that now costs just over $300,000. When it comes to row unit openers and closing wheels and everything else, Agco offers a total of 21 different options that you can equip your row unit with and that is what adjusts the price up from that initial cost of $200,000. The list price for the 60 foot wide 24 row 30 inch model is $260,000. This is the base list price. Again, you can add all the different automated features, row cleaners, and other options to this planter. In addition to the liquid fertilizer feature of the 500 gallon tank that's available, customers can order an optional 750 gallon liquid fertilizer tank for the 9800 VE. These 9800 VEs represent a significant investment for a farming operation in corn planting technology, but it's an investment that is well worth looking at, especially in a year like 2019. As we approach the end of May, many farms across North America have not even been able to start planting corn due to extreme wet weather. 
A machine like this really allows a farm to take advantage of those few sunny days that have been available. Typically, a farm looks at their planter, whether it is 30, 40, or 60 feet, as an advantage to reduce the number of passes across the field and put a few more seeds in the ground. Now, with the addition of the high speed feature, farms are able to move from that traditional planting speed of 5 miles per hour to 10 miles per hour. Not only are they reducing passes because of the width of the planter, but they're spending less time on those passes. And when the sun is shining, which has been rare these days, the farm is able to take advantage of getting even a few more acres in because of the speed and the width of the planter. Let's take a look at the specifications of the Challenger 1000 series tractors that are pulling these high speed 9800 VE corn planters. We'll start with the model 1046 that is pulling the 24 row corn planter in the central sands of Wisconsin. This tractor is powered by a 757 cubic inch 12.4 liter MAN engine. It's rated at 476 engine horsepower and 420 PTO horsepower. It features a 211 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 22 gallon DEF tank for clean engine solutions. The tractor is run by an AccuVT stepless CVT transmission. It weighs in at 50,000 pounds and it has a top speed of 31 miles per hour. The price tag on this tractor is $443,000 according to Challenger's website. The model 1038 has a similar specifications as the 1046 other than that the MAN engine is rated at 396 engine horsepower and has a price tag of $415,000. A key difference between the two tractors is the tire setup. The model 1038 and 1042 are typically gonna be seen with row crop tires as we see here with the tractor pulling the 16 row model. The 1046 and then the big 517 horsepower 1050 typically come with large flotation tires, whether they are duals like we see here with a 1046 or a large single tire. The Challenger 1000 series tractors are manufactured at the Agco Tractor Factory in Oktoberdorf, Germany. These machines roll down the same assembly line as the popular Fent 1000 series tractors with the Vario transmission. Fent tractors are painted in green and feature red wheels. The reason there are yellow Challenger 1000 series tractors using the same design from Fent is for distribution. The Challenger brand has a much larger dealership network across North America, and this allows Agco to sell more variations of this popular tractor. Let's take a minute to look at some popular competing tractors to the Challenger 1000 series, and I think you'll see that the Challenger 1000s sit in a class all by themselves between articulated four-wheel drive tractors and high horsepower row crop tractors. We'll take a look at the John Deere 8400R. This is the largest row crop tractor available from John Deere. This tractor weighs in at 39,683 pounds. It's powered by a nine liter 548 cubic inch John Deere engine. The tractor has an E23 power shift transmission and has an 181 gallon diesel fuel tank, a 6.8 liter DEF tank for clean engine solutions, and the tractor is priced at $428,000. Another popular John Deere tractor to take a look at in comparison to the Challenger 1000 series is the John Deere 9420R articulated four-wheel drive tractor. This machine weighs in at 48,700 pounds. It's powered by a John Deere 13.5 liter 823 cubic inch engine. It features an E18 power shift transmission. The tractor has a 310 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 22 gallon DEF tank for clean engine solutions. The price tag of a 9420R is $386,747. As you can see from the specifications of all of these tractors, the Challenger 1000 series machines are in a class all to themselves in the tractor market today. 
Weighing in at 50,000 pounds, the Challenger 1000 series tractors can match the weight and capability of the entry to mid-range articulated four-wheel drive tractors on the market today. And then with their high engine horsepower starting at 396 engine horsepower all the way up to 517 engine horsepower, they outpace every single high horsepower row crop tractor on the market today. Challenger does offer a high horsepower row crop tractor that is the MT600 series and they also offer the MT900 series articulated four-wheel drive. The Challenger 1000 fits in right between those and are capable of doing the work of a big four-wheel drive tractor as well as the nimble work of a row crop machine. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the fields of Wisconsin and Kentucky learning more about these Challenger 1000 series tractors and high-speed 9800 VE corn planters. They're impressive machines and they're capable of covering a lot of acres in a hurry. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about these machines, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching. 